Sorel Tracy is a city in southwestern Quebec, Canada and the geographical endpoint of the Lake Champlain Valley at the confluence of the Richelieu River and the St. Lawrence River, on the western edge of Lac Saint-Pierre downstream and east of nearby Montreal. The population as of the Canada 2011 census was 34,600. Its mayor is Serge Pelequin and it is the seat of the Pierre de Sorel Regional County Municipality in the Judicial District of Richelieu. The city is the result of a voluntary amalgamation in 2001 between two cities, Sorel and Tracy. The Richelieu River separates the two communities, Tracy on the west shore and Sorrel on the east shore. Sorrel itself had annexed in 1992 the municipality of Saint-Pierre de Sorrel which corresponds today to the southern part of its territory. Sorrel was founded in 1642. Tracy was founded on February 10, 1954. Prior to 1954, Tracy was known as the parish municipality of St. Joseph de Sorel. Sorel Tracy is known for its activities in the steel industry and metallurgy as well as for its ferry linking the city to the village of St. Ignace de Loyola. History Sorel is the fourth oldest city in the province of Quebec. Its formation began in 1642 when Charles Wode de Montmagny, first governor and lieutenant governor of New France, built Fort Richelieu here as a defense for settlers and river travelers against the Iroquois. In 1647, the original fort was destroyed by the Iroquois but it was rebuilt by the Carignan Salieres Regiment on the same site in 1665. The name Sorel comes from the first seigneur of the area, Pierre de Sorel. He was in command of a regiment of the Carignan Salieres that came over in August 1665. He was granted a seigneury by King Louis XIV in 1672, even though he had already built a manor house four years prior. The name Tracy comes from Lieutenant General Alexander de Prouville, Sieur de Tracy who was overall in command of the Carignan Salieres Regiment directly under the governor. It is in Sorrel that the Christmas tree made its first appearance in North America on Christmas Eve in 1781. After the visit of Prince William Henry, Duke of Gloucester to Sorrel in 1787 the town took the name of William Henry, a name it retained until 1845. It is probable that before the American Revolution there were no English-speaking people in Sorrel. Although then merely a hamlet or village, this place was the scene of much activity. During 1776 large bodies of troops passed through and at times were stationed in the area. The German auxiliaries employed by England were courted in Sorrel as they arrived in the country. A letter from Governor Frederick Haldeman to Lord George Germain in October 1778 written from his camp in Sorrel where fortifications were in progress, indicates his proposed use of the seigneury. It is my intention, therefore, if time and circumstances favor me, to make Sorrel a place of strength with permanent works, as the importance of it deserves. The seigneury of this place is vested in merchants residing in England and the inhabitants of it. People remarkable for their courage and resolution, have distinguished themselves very much by their attachment to the government even at a time the rebels were masters of that country, in which account I think it would serve the king's interest to bestow some public mark of favour upon them such as remitting them the quittance which they pay for their land to the seigneur, and the seigneury being to be sold, and the purchase would not exceed 13,000, having been offered for that sum. I submit to your lordship whether it would not be best to give orders to treat immediately with the proprietors, Messrs. Greenwood and Higgins in London, both for enabling me to effect the purchase. The purchase was eventually made in 1781 and Sorrel became a clearing house for the steady stream of loyalist refugees from the south.
A certain number of them settled in Sorrel, forming the nucleus of the English population. Another addition was Sorrel being selected as one of the stations for military invalids, or outside Chelsea pensioners, as they were also called. These old soldiers and the dependents, numbering several hundreds, were sent to Sorrel under the medical care of Dr. Christopher Carter. The earliest efforts for the propagation of the Protestant religion in Canada were made in Sorrel. The continued influx of loyalists during the year 1783 into the seigneury prompted the population to search out a permanent minister, and so at the end of the year a petition was sent to the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel in Foreign Parts, begging them to send a minister of the Gospel to reside in the seigneury. Following the request, the Reverend John Doty embarked during the month of April 1784 at Gravesend, England, and arrived at Quebec in June, and at Sorel on 4 July 1784, where he celebrated divine service and preached his first sermon. This is the date of the foundation of the Anglican parish in Sorel and the first Anglican mission in Canada. The chapel where the faithful united was a wooden building located at the end of King Street, a few steps from the Richelieu market. This building had already served as a military storehouse. At the beginning of the 19th century, Sorrel was the home of fur traders. In 1819, the town's presbytery was declared dangerously unfit. The character of the town, however, would change dramatically over the next few decades, due to the arrival of two influential figures. In the 1820s, Sorrel was the site of the Governor-General of Lower Canada's Governor's House, occupied George Ramsay, the Lord Dalhousie. Ramsay quickly purchased land in the area for agricultural improvement. The small town was due to the Governor-General's presence a centre for the turbulent politics of that time, the period leading up to the Lower Canada Rebellion. Locally, there was animosity between the colonial governor and the other prominent local figure, parish priest John Baptiste Kelly. Kelly oversaw a number of improvements and changes during his years in the town. The dangerous presbytery was rebuilt by 1832. The town's name was changed from William Henry back to Sorrel in 1845. The parish library was improved, containing 400 volumes by 1846. In 1848 a monument to temperance was built by the community, along with a society for the care of the poor and sick and for the education of girls. Kelly retired in 1849, after the completion of a new presbytery, having turned the older one into a college. In 1839 two new residents were involved in a murder trial. George Holmes, who lived in town, was in romantic pursuit of Josephine Destemierville, who had been staying with family in William Henry. Holmes killed her husband Louis Pascal Achille Take in the seigneury of Camorasca. Holmes fled to the United States of America, and Destemierville was acquitted of any involvement. In 1970, Anne Hebert wrote a book, Camorasca, about the affair, which was made into a film in 1973 by Claude Utra. In 1875, a train accident on the Richelieu, Drummond, and Athabasca Railroad line happened near Sorrel. Sorrel was also the site of the construction of three out of twelve Halifax-class frigates of the Canadian forces. The three Canadian patrol frigates built in Quebec were HMCS Ville de Quebec, HMCS Regina and HMCS Calgary. The shipyard in Sorrel Tracy was called MIL. Tracy and built units for all three vessels and sent them by barge for final assembly at MIL, Davy in Lausanne, Quebec. Previous to the construction of the Halifax-class frigates, Mill was responsible for the construction of HMCS Nipigon which was commissioned there in 1964. Mill was also the location of the construction of HMCS Bras d'Or an experimental hydrofoil constructed by the Royal Canadian Navy. The construction of both ships was overseen by CMDR, Donald Clark CDRCN, Legacy. The Tracy Squadron at the Royal Military College St. John was named in honor of Sorrel Tracy. Demographics 
French Canadians make more than 97% of the city's population. Less than 2% of the population is foreign-born or second-generation immigrants. Anglo-Canadians make less than 1% of Sorrel Tracy's inhabitants. Transportation Sorrel Tracy is within 75 kilometers of both Montreal and Trois-Rivières and is easily accessible via Auto Route 30 from the west and via Route 132 from the east and west. Auto Route 30 stops at Sorrel and picks up again at Beckoncourt, leaving an incomplete segment in between. A year-round ferry operates on the St. Lawrence River between Sorrel Tracy and St. Ignace de Loyola on the way to Berthierville. Notable people born here. Professional ice hockey star Marc-Andre Fleury currently playing for the Pittsburgh Penguins. NHL defenseman Francois B. Chemin who currently plays for the Anaheim Ducks. Canadian politician Pierre Paquette member of the Bloc QUE Acute BE Acute COI's Political Party of Canada. Sports. The city is home to the historic Holocy Cardan, an ice hockey arena built in 1954. The Sorrel Epiviers played there from 1969 to 77 and 1980-81. They advanced to the league final in 1974, losing the President's Cup to the Quebec Remparts. Since the foundation of the LNAH in 1996, Sorrel Tracy has hosted a team for all but two seasons, 2008 to 2010. The team was known variously as Dinosaurs, Arroyos and Mission before taking the name Sorrel Tracy H.C. Carvener in 2011. The city has still yet to win a Futura Cup. Climate